Hello Zebaherd and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we are going to be talking all about the Citron. You might know that there was a balance update that came out just a couple of days ago and it totally reworked the Citron. Now I wanted to explain that really quickly. This isn't just a normal buff or nerf, it's a total rework on Citron which means usually in these patch updates we see one or two minor or maybe slightly major changes to a character that might change their playstyle slightly but it's just supposed to keep the idea of the character but just make it either stronger or weaker. But with this, it was a rework because it's supposed to change how Citron is played. Now, a lot of people do play Citron as a sniper character just because he has a lot of strong damage from a distance and he has pretty accurate attacks at that. And then of course also he doesn't have any ammo, he just has a recharge. So with all those factors combined, he makes for a pretty powerful sniper. But that's never really how the Citron was intended to be played. So with this rework for the Citron, he's a little bit more like a running gunner. So he will roll up to you, attack you from up close, and then move away. And because of that, every single Citron has had some kind of change. So today's gonna be fun, we're gonna be playing every single Citron, and then of course talking about the changes each one has gotten, because each one has gotten a different change. So to do that, we'll probably be doing some, uh, what's it called, Vanquish Confirmed, or Team Vanquish or something, there's probably more people playing Team Vanquish. And we're gonna have some fun with that and hopefully everything goes well. Okay, so first off, of course, we're to start with the base Citron and looking at his changes, he has three things changed. His close range direct hit, went from six damage to nine, so if you hit an opponent directly when you're close to them, it'll be doing more damage, but the long range direct hit was lowered from three to two, and the blast damage was from five to two. So what that means is that when you're farther away, as you can see here, we're doing less damage on average, but the closer we get, the more damage we do. So that's something we wanna focus on. Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and we'll wanna to try to get up close to characters. And that's sort of the great thing about Citron's mobility is that he can roll up in the ball form, go super duper quick, and then catch up the players, and then be able to damage them, and then when you're done damaging them, roll back up in the ball form and get the heck out of there. And then of course he has his shield, like there's a lot of things going on that help Citron get all up close and personal, sort of similar to the All-Star. So that's definitely why I wanted to showcase all of these changes, and I might do the same for the Engineer if you guys want to you know, see it. If this video does well and it seems like a lot of people are interested, maybe we can go ahead and check that out. But we'll probably do one round per Citron, so we'll start when, with uh, the base Citron here, and then continue on with each Citron. There aren't too many of them. Now I'm planning on doing a top five Citron video soon because I almost have all of them mastered. And I still plan on doing that, but you know, first off I wanted to be able to showcase these changes because they may end up changing who I think my top five Citrons are just because it'll change up the gameplay. Now I believe EM Peach was also changed as a whole. I'll have to review the patch notes when I'm not playing during a loading screen to find that out. Oh, we really destroyed that Mac, that was pretty good. Um, but I don't think the EM Peach is as large as it used to be. Um, and that's pretty good because it was pretty large before. Um, I would say it was teetering on the edge of being like totally overpowered with how large the EMP, EMP radius was, when it really didn't need to be, especially since with how Citron's now intended to be played, you are pretty close to them anyway, so you really don't need that large of a radius to help you. Okay, let's slow down this engineer. But yeah, engineers were updated too. A lot of the engineers were given a good benefit. There are people still, you know, debating and communicating on whether this was an overall buff or nerf. It's hard to say. Let's see if we can't get rid of this guy. And I got you, awesome, 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 and I should get out of here. I didn't really take my opportunity when I should have, so I got beat up. But we're doing pretty well. I mean, the basic Citron has always been good. But you can tell my play style is a little bit different. I don't, I'm not trying to stay at mid range between me and the enemy. That's usually what I would do, because at that point, there's a lot of opportunities to take, and you can still do that when the game's not lagging out, but it won't be very effective. I could just sit here and attack those super brains when they pop out of the sky, but it isn't gonna get me too far, only two damage at a time, and compared to other characters, I might as well be playing them, you know? Uh, what it does mean, though, is that we can catch up to this guy and just do a lot of damage to him just like that. Who's attacking me now, you, buddy? We're gonna slow you down with the EMP, and uh, the Chomper stole it, that's fine. Have fun with that Chomper, I'm max rank anyways, uh, at least with this character. And we're doing tons of damage to you, but as you can see, a big thing for escaping Citrons now, especially for characters that have more mobility like the Super Brains, their main thing is that they're just gonna try to separate themselves from you as much as possible. Once again, that wraps back. That's what's so good about Citron in the situation is that he's pretty good at catching up. Uh, there's very few characters that can get away from him properly. Because he has a base or a good base walking speed and then he can just roll. Okay, so we're gonna 
try to catch up with you because you don't quite see me, so now's a perfect time to EMP you and then just go for you, but you are trying to hop away. They can still move and hop when they're EMP, it's just not as much. There we go, we got you. We are playing really well so far. We are top vanquisher right now. I think we're like doubling some of the second vanqu like second top vanquishers counts or around there, so we're doing pretty good. 39 to 26, so I'm gonna be a little bit careful. And up, uh, where'd he go? Uh, the world may never know. <laughs> what was with that? <laughs> Did he just realize he was defeated and he got disconnected or something? I don't know. Put the win on a plate, 10 more to go. Okay, so where are these zombies at? And I know we're playing in a bit of a small game. Oh, well, that scientist got me. And there's still issues like that where if they sneak up on you and they get a good hit, couple hits on you, they're probably gonna take you out. I mean, since John's not supposed to be the perfect class, it's undefeatable. He's gonna have his weaknesses. But I do like this change of pace that they're taking with this. Because typically when we see a balance, you know, patch, it usually changes a bunch of characters all at one time, which can be interesting because it gives us a lot to go over, but it's very broad, and because of that, maybe specific changes aren't exactly needed. I sort of like this idea that they're introducing patches and instead have a blanket focus on just whatever feels like it needs to be fixed. Instead, we focus on one or two classes at a time and have heavy changes that hopefully really quell any issues that could be going on, because some people have been complaining that Citroen has been overpowered since the beginning of the game. Um, like since it released back in 2016. And do I entirely agree? I'm not really sure. I enjoyed how Citron was before. I definitely enjoy how he is now. I think that this is overall a good change so far because it's just introducing a different play style and that's sort of revitalizing for a game that's getting a little older, you know? It's just some difference, you know? Changing up the gameplay a little bit. That's always fun. So I think in just that idea alone, it can be worth it, worthwhile. Go ahead and get rid of you. And I think we just got the last vanquish there. Very cool. So a win for us on the plant team. We played fantastic. And I feel like we did a great job showcasing some of Citron's changes. But we're not quite done. Like I said, we're going to play every Citron that has been changed, which I think is all of them. So let's move on to the next one. 15 vanquishes. That's awesome. Okay, so Frozen Citron did have a couple of changes, but they were very, very brief. For him, it was a little bit more of a direct nerf with only one thing being changed, which was his long range direct hit. So just like other characters, one year long range, instead of hitting for 5.5, he hits for three. So not as good, of course, that's what we're supposed to be expecting. We're just gonna go ahead and get up close to you. But because of that, his close range damage hasn't been improved, so honestly, He's not much better of a character right now, <laughs> which is unfortunate, but seeing how I immediately got two vanquishes, I think it's fine. Um, but yeah, the EMP has been changed. I did find the detail on that. Um, the EMP has a slow effect. Of course, when you throw an EMP on somebody, um, it slows them down, and that got really reduced. That's what actually ended up being changed, is it went from 50% slow to a 20% slow, so a 30% loss on that. So that's okay, though, because the EMP is still pretty good at that, because at that rate, remember, we're already supposed to be pretty close to the enemy. You can shoot an EMP really far away, but it's not really worth it. And I can understand why they might not want to heavily change the iron or the frozen Citron here, because he's pretty simple in that way. You know, you can just fr freeze a character from really far away, and then you can catch up with them. I saw you trying to do that ZPG stuff. Not happening this time. This guy sees me, they all see me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm not as good with the Frozen Citron, so I might not do so well this round, but we're just gonna keep doing a round per Citron and see how that ends up working out for us. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a top five Citrons video soon within the next week or two because it's just a character I'm closest to having all mastered. And if you guys haven't caught up with that, I of course do do top five characters in Garden Warfare 2. We've done Colonel Corn, Sunflower, Soldiers, and Imps so far. These guys are kicking my butt. Um, and that's gonna continue, but make sure you check that out if you wanna see some top fives, my top five favorite characters for each of those classes. I've done videos on them already, and I plan on doing it for every class that I can. But for now, I have a scientist over here to go with. Where'd he go? Uh, I can't see him in front of the, all the mess that's going on, really. But right now we're doing pretty good damage. Honestly, his close range damage goes out pretty far. Uh, can you stop it? Jeez Louise, this is ridiculous. Slow you down, come on, go, go, go. And then try to get rid of you. I am playing so badly right now, it's ridiculous. And then charge. He doesn't know I'm here for some reason. Why did I go back? Why did I go back? Why did I go back? Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I got out of there. And that's the big benefit of a uh, Citron. Heal me some flower if you can. Okay, so it looks like our teammates are doing really, really well. And you guys healed me, I appreciate it. Okay, they're sneaking around this way. We gotta be ready for them. Okay, you're about to pop around the corner. My aim is like super off right now. Oh, somebody took you out. Okay. 
I see this imp, he's about to pop around the corner. Okay, we got the assist. <laughs> We're landing like five damage on him. I guess there were other plans waiting for him. So, so far we were starting like really badly, but I feel like we're turning this around right now, which is pretty nice. And that's sort of the big benefit to the Frozen Citron once again, is that I don't really need much damage to freeze enemies, and that's nice. Got an assist there. So I'm expecting not to do as well. Probably not gonna get top bag, but sure, hopefully we can just win. That'd be nice. What are you doing taunting up there? I'm getting really damaged. Oh boy. Get rid of you if I can. Come on, come on, come on, lay the damage on him. He's frozen, see, that's what I'm looking for. Even if I get taken out afterwards, it's fine. But yeah, I think that the Citron is plenty fine. Uh, some people, especially probably Citron mains, were a little worried that this would leave it so that Citron wouldn't be fun anymore. But I think he's actually plenty fun because he's just a different character in, in a way compared to all the other characters. I mean, it's not like he's a totally different character to what he was, but like compared to every other character in Garden Warfare, we don't have too many other close range specialists. But we, we do, but some of them are different in other ways, of course. Like, I think the best close range specialist on the zombie side, of course, is Super Brains. Okay, let's try to get rid of some of these scientists if we can. Come on, come on, gotcha. And, oh, there's another one. <laughs> How many scientists are there? Why are they all playing scientists right now? Can you stop dodging me? Come on, come on, come on, come on, got you. Is that all of them? I don't know, somebody's still shooting at me. Or uh, maybe that was the armor cactus. I have no clue. Thank you for the heals, but I gotta get rid of a super brains. Boom! Did I get you there? I got you there. And that's always nice, being able to charge into them and then just take them out shortly after. Where are you at? I got you a little bit, but that's not gonna freeze you. Come on, I gotta keep going. Come on, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can. Let's see, did this change? No, you can still shoot that super far. Oh, uh, this is not good. I feel like I'm having a hard time landing on people in general. Should be able to get rid of you. Yep, I gotcha. I'm gonna get my shield ready. And I'm trying to help out the plants wherever I can, but it's not always easy. Come on, get ya, get ya, gotcha. I we're doing okay. I don't know if we're top vanquisher right now, but we're pretty close to it, I have to imagine. You're probably gonna do your anti-gravity in a second, so if I could avoid that. Yeah, no mech for you, sir, I'm sorry. Uh, you're gonna get stunned, and now my shield is gone. Oh, my aim is all kinds of off still. I need to run. No, no, let me get out of here. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, keep moving, keep moving. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. I have one health. I'm starting to heal now, so I wanna keep that going. Are they following me? Oh man, if only they knew. They got me down to one health and I got out of there. Isn't that awesome? Oh, okay, that was a plant. I was gonna say, oh, zombie spawning right in front of me. This isn't looking good. Who wants ice cream? I do. That'd be good. Oh, you don't see me. Can we freeze you? Man, my aim is awful. Like, it's really bad. Okay, so you're gonna try to explode and then we're gonna get you. Because <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be able to land most of his shots. He didn't land any of them. Okay, we're doing great and we're still healing up because he didn't land anything on me. And then go for him. Oh, it's an Arctic Trooper as well, so we gotta be careful about that. He could freeze us as, as much as we could freeze he we could freeze him. Okay, you got him, good job. Okay, so we could win this. It depends. Um, Where are the rest of our zombie friends that we're going to destroy? Because they're not actually our friends. Get you a little bit. I keep on thinking they're gonna move farther than they end up doing. So obviously Frozen Citron isn't like some kind of crazy destroyer like the base Citron is in my opinion. But he's still doing pretty well. And they won, that's a shame because we got really, really close there to winning. But that's fine, we have to showcase the Frozen Citron changes. So that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So the Electric Citron has a good amount of changes but they're sort of, like they look like a lot at first but it's just, it's pretty easy to understand. And I feel like Electro Citron's gonna be the one who hurts the most from this change because I just don't see how he can work very well at all as a close ranger with how charge shots work. But maybe, I don't know. Okay, that did a lot of damage. And okay, I got him. So let me take a look at these changes. First off, we have the first charge shot. So that's just you know pressing the button and releasing it. That has a long range direct hit change of from eight the 3.5, so normally when we would do this, it would do eight damage. Now it only does 3.5, which is very little, less than half of what it was. The second charge shot, which is that, I think, 
Uh, is a close range direct hit of 50, which is unchanged. The long range direct hit went from 40 to 22, and the blast damage went from 25 to 15. Um, so yeah, less blast damage so you can not like hit them around corners when they're hiding far away. And then finally, the third charge shot, the strongest charge you can get, got changed a little bit as well. Uh, the close range direct hit got to 75, which was what it was before, so that's unchanged. The long range direct hit, so when it's very far away, and we, if we were able to hit that guy, it went from 65 all the way down to 37. So once again, another one that was basically halved. Um, and then blast damage went from 40 to 25. So it definitely didn't get any kind of buffs, which I think that's gonna be a problem for a lot of people for Electro Citron. I think this one of the, might be one of the characters that is like genuinely worse. But I might be wrong about that. We just have to try a couple things out, and then I'm gonna try to attack you before you realize. But this is why I don't like Electro Citron, is because it's like I can sit here and charge and attack you, but it's so awkward to do that. I mean, it works to an extent, but it's not easy. And maybe I just need a little bit more practice. Maybe this is my own issue. But this is where I'm saying that my top five might change and why I'm glad I waited, because if I did a top five before these changes, it might have totally changed my opinion on which Citrons are better than others. Not to say this was like my favorite Citron or something, but I might have preferred him over others, I won't spoil it, but now I'm not sure. I don't think that's the case anymore. But I'll have to try it a little bit and really see what I feel about it. Uh, go ahead and get you as much as I can. And it's obviously not very feasible just to do single hits over and over again. I mean, before it was sorta of, kind of, but definitely not now. Uh, like that does nothing. So yeah, that's definitely not worth it. Uh, I'm just gonna try to do that and roll over to you. I think this is definitely a more difficult character now. It's a shame. I mean, it's not the end of the world or anything, but like I just, I don't know. I don't see myself ever doing well with the Citron or the Electro Citron when it's like this. It's just way too difficult. Because of course, when we're that close, we need to be able to stack on the damage as much as possible and as soon as possible. And sometimes, you know, you can get used to it like that, but when going against an all-star, especially since like I need to charge, oh, I need to throw the EMP and then I need to charge a shot. And that's like, we can still do, oh, that was good. I'm getting really lucky right now as I'm explaining how difficult this is. Oh, if I can hit you one more time. There we go, we got you. I mean, Electro Citron's always been a weird one for me. Sometimes I do really well with him, sometimes I just do awful. It's always a mix up. But I feel like out of all of the Citrons, he was the most sniper one of them. He was the one that most people used long range. So I think he's hurting the most from these changes. And he isn't a bad variant by any means. I just think that the skill ceiling expected for players of him has raised a lot. Um, because it just takes a lot of effort to get down enemies such as you. I mean, we do a lot of damage up close, which is nice. You know, we do like 10 damage a shot, which is really good. And we're still doing splash damage because we are an electric variant after all, but I don't feel like it's as good. But maybe I'm total, you know, totally full baloney with that. And do you guys disagree? Feel free to let me know. I wanna hear your thoughts on all of these changes, of course. Do you think they're good or bad or anything like that? I would love to hear. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get rid of you as much as I possibly can. Pull up my shield now. Gotcha, and then I see, nope, <laughs> nice chili bean bomb, dude. Okay, so go ahead and do this, stun you, take you out, and then your friend too. So yeah, some of this close range damage actually isn't too bad, but it's always been this way is the thing. And that's sort of what I'm really talking about is how the changes really affected things. And right now, I, I gotta say, I don't think it's so good. Okay, good job, team. Uh, this isn't looking good, who wants ice cream? I, I mean, you said that before and I still want it. <laughs> You're just making me hungry, Crazy Dave. I can't eat while I'm recording, that'd just be gross. But uh, yeah, I mean, at this rate, I, I think that Electro Citron's still playable, of course. I just don't know how I feel about him. I feel like I just need more time with it. But with that being said, like I said, I really wanna hear your guys' feedback. I haven't heard really too many people definitively saying, is this, you know, overall Citron change very good or very bad? Just a lot of worries. But now that it's been out, I haven't had heard too many people feedback with it. So I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Because a lot of you have a lot of in-depth thoughts about Garden Warfare 2 because you care about it a lot, just like me. I think that's awesome. Okay, I sort of entered a really bad situation here. Gotcha, somehow I still got you though. And then if I could just go for like a ton of headshots, that might work, it might not. 
It feels like they're sort of figuring out that if they work around me and try to hit me at my blind spots, of course they're gonna be able to get me more easily. That's exactly the case when dealing with the Citron, and that's never more apparent than with the current changes. Okay, so now we're moving on over to the Iron Citron. He has some changes, of course, to his Mech Breaker, which is the name of his primary weapon. He has his close range direct hit unchanged, it's still doing 50 damage. The long range went from 25 to 15, and then the blast damage went from 12.5 to 7.5. So that's actually a little bit worrying, because if Electro Citron was a sniper, definitely this guy was a bit of a sniper as well. So I really don't know how we're gonna handle this. We just have to really use our 250 health to its advantage and really just hit these guys where it hurts. But they run away like cowards, so I can't really do it. Um, hello. And I just feel like that's really difficult because playing it safe with a character like this is really what you want because of, of course, Citron's a big wide character with a gigantic blind spot behind him. So it makes it even harder to survive. So I don't know how good we're gonna do with this. I mean, I'll have a whole like 10 levels to earn up with the Iron Citron here to really get some good opinions on it before my top five. But I was really starting to enjoy the Iron Citron before these changes, so I wonder if these changes are gonna make it better or worse for me. Okay, got that a little bit. So far I'm thinking right now the most playable character still out of everybody is the base Citron. Because like once we deal with the situation like this, obviously it's very clear what's going on. The scientist is a very solid uh, counter to the Citron. Um, especially if there's two of them, because they actually did a perfect formation there where one of them went in front of me while the other one just attacked me from behind, and that's exactly what you need to do with the Citron now. Um, and I feel like to a sense that's always what you had to do, but before he could attack you a lot from a distance, making it impossible to even get to him before you know you could start doing that kind of stuff. And I mean, once again, we can still do damage you know, from a distance. It's just not nearly as much, and we take a lot of pain and damage and agony before we can really get too much done. Okay, so don't have to worry about that guy. Try to get you a little bit. And like 15 damage isn't really much in this situation. And that's a big problem. It's like I can keep hitting you over and over again. But I just don't feel like I'm making much of a mark. But then it's like the close range for the Iron Citron is pretty close though. Cause like we hit him for 30 there, which is a good amount. So I think that he's still gonna be playable. He's still gonna be doable at at least a medium-ish range. But of course, close range is where he's gonna be doing the most damage. What are you doing over here? I mean, you're doing a whole bunch of nothing right now. So it might be smarter to like move over here and then charge through you and miss, sort of, kind of. Okay, we got a lot of plants on you, so somebody's gonna take you out, right? Okay, gotcha. Come on, I just need one more shot on him. Oh, that's tough. Like, I don't know what my chances of getting legendary mode with Iron Citron are in this round. I just don't think it's gonna be very easy for me. Like 250 health goes away real quick right now. I can say that much. Because the Citron, the Iron Citron, moves slower than your average Citron. <laughs> slower than most characters. You know, like most other uh, armor type variants. And that's fine. At the same time, though, it can be hard to handle. So who's attacking me right now? It's, is it just this All Star? I mean, I don't think so. Okay, does he see me? I'm gonna go ahead and impeach him. Okay, he, he's still on his sprint tackle, but we got him. Just an assist though, which is sort of a pain. But with the engineer, like I said, we could go ahead and showcase the engineer differences in an upcoming episode, if this episode does well, if you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so be sure to let me know. But at the same time, not every engineer was changed. I think only three, maybe four engineer, engineers were changed in total. Come on, a little bit more. Okay, we got him. Most scientists only have 100 health, so if we can manage to land those two close-up shots on them, we'll do excellent, and that's really good. We're getting a couple of levels right now, which is good. And we are winning, not by much, but we are indeed winning. It could change around. I don't think any game's been turned around so far in today's episode. Usually, whatever team is winning ends up winning in total. That's just sort of how it is in this game. Unlike Splatoon, which I played earlier today, where you know uh, comebacks happen constantly, all the time. It's interesting. So, let's keep moving. It's 31 to 28, they're really catching up now. I gotta play better. I definitely need to tackle things a little bit more tactically. <laughs> tactically tackling. Because if not, I'll just find myself losing all of my health. So if I can stay away from enemies, even if I'm only hitting them 15 at a time, it's gonna be beneficial, especially if it's just a uh, Captain Deadbeard who isn't even playing the game. But uh, that's sort of a big thing. What are you doing over there? Oh boy, watch out, watch out. Here, I'm gonna slow them down. Then I'm gonna, 
Oh gosh, oh gosh, ready, boop, get you, get you one more time, excuse me, Mr. Cactus, or Mrs. Cactus, I'm so sorry, I don't mean to be rude, uh, gotcha, okay, I'm surviving for a little bit longer, and then, here you are, oh gosh, I'm done for, aren't I, I'm done for, that stinks, <laughs> I tried so hard, but I couldn't survive, but it is definitely interesting that, you know, she's trying here to get a complete overhaul, and it makes me think, are there any other characters that really need that, instead of maybe just a specific, you know, little change, instead of complete rework. I don't know if any other character needs that. I know that some of the uh, engineer changes can be considered a rework. There definitely were some awesome changes with the engineer that I'm super excited to show you guys in that episode if we do it. But also, like I'm thinking, what other characters can maybe use like a major class-wide nerf or buff or something? Can I get an assist for that? I guess I can, cool. All right, let's get over there as quickly as I can. Oh, the server's getting laggy. And can I get rid of like one more zombie to finish this off? Nope, <laughs> not getting that guy, that's for sure. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, pull up the shield, pull up the shield, we're taking a beating, we're taking a major beating. Oh man, I'm awful. Oh wow, I think we won though. Yep, there goes the end of the game and I'm pretty sure that's in favor of the plant. So there's another Citron showcase. It is the Iron Citron. He is definitely a little bit more difficult to play. Okay, so now we're moving on to the party Citron, and does he look a little shorter for some reason? Maybe that's just my eyes today, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, he has a couple changes, of course, or we wanna be showcasing him. Uh, close range direct hit is 11 still, so that hasn't been changed, so he still just hits his heart up close as ever before. And then, oh boy, come on, can we get you? And then turn around and take this guy out. Those scientists have been really anti-Citron, <laughs> but I got him still, that's probably why. <laughs> um. And then his close range direct hit went from eight to four, which is a huge drop off, that's half. And then his blast damage went from five to two. So he has next to no blast damage, so it's not even worth doing that. It wasn't really too much before, five damage isn't too much, but at this point, it's next to nothing. So playing him might be a bit difficult as well. But we're just gonna try to get up and close and personal to people and do it that way. But it really is just a pa change of pace. It sort of forces you to play Citron in a different way you might not be used to. Okay, so I got his attention. Now I'm gonna slow him down, pull my shield, and just hit him. Keep hitting him. I know that scientist is here, and I'm not gonna be able to handle both of these guys, so I'm probably done for, but at least I took a scientist with me. Now I really know why the scientists don't like me, because I always manage to take one when I get taken out. <laughs> We're very close to level 10. If we play well enough this round, I might even be able to get level 10 right here, right now, which would be awesome. And I'd only have to worry about mastering Iron Citron. And then I'd have all the Citrons mastered, which is my requirement for doing a top 10. I don't do top 10 on variants or classes if I don't have level 10 on all the variants. Let's try to get you. I mean, as you can see, my close range damage isn't really helping me, or my long slash medium range damage. I know you're low on health, so I wanna get rid of you first. But you are holding on tight right now because you're getting healed by the scientist. Gosh darn it, scientist. Okay, I'm getting out of here if I can. Oh, I couldn't. You really need to know when you're not gonna win something and just get out of there. But that's obviously something that's hard to learn. It takes some time to really get used to that. And we've done it earlier in today's episode. You know, I got away with one health. And that was pretty good. And that's exactly what you wanna do. Get in there, beat up some guys, get out, and then do that over and over again. Maybe things will work out for you. Okay, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to get rid of this mech. Ow, okay, you know what, we're not, we're not. But I'm not very good at situational awareness, so I wouldn't know that. We need to deal with that scientist that was healing the mech, because he's making everything complicated. But right now the zombies are dominating us more than double our score, I don't like it. Not one bit. I probably shouldn't be using the speed up then to make my way into stuff. And that's sort of the thing, I need to be more careful about how I initiate situations, because I feel like right now, uh, I'm not doing that very well. I'm not doing that how I should, because I'm not used to having to do it this way. Come on, get rid of you, get rid of you. I know you have a lot of health, but I was able to get you out of here before you tackled, and now I gotta move, now I gotta move, now I gotta move, ah! Gosh darn, I cannot get myself out of any situation, apparently. <laughs> Come on, let's try that again. It looks like there's a lot of scientists right now. And I do actually think the scientists are a decent counter right now to the Citroen, with enough knowledgeable play at the least. Come on, I'm just gonna try to dodge you like this. That worked out pretty well. I mean, I'm on fire right now though, which is not pretty good. Come on, come on, get you, get you. It's hard to hit you when you're so small, you darn imp. There we go. Move, 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 I'm on, I'm poisoned. Ah, uh, that stinks. Oh, he was actually closer than I thought. He actually did take me out then. I didn't even see him and he was right behind me. That's sort of the thing, it's just like, 
Citrons have a pretty big blind spot because they're just such a big wide character. They're easier to hit than most other characters. Hmm. Like I see this soldier and I want to do damage to him, but I'm really not making much of a difference. I mean, it's still worth doing, especially if I can do it safely, you know? But I might not be as much of a help to my team right now, especially since he's reve uh, reviving people pretty easily. Okay, so you're impeached, but you were still able to sprint tackle away. Can they use abilities when they're impeached? Because if so, I thought that wasn't how it worked. And also, EMP doesn't sound as useful anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. There was just damage coming in from everywhere there. I guess I got taken out by the exploding balls, but like, come on. Oh, come on, I need a little bit more. Oh man, maybe I should've let you revive me. I don't know why I didn't. It was just sort of instincts and they won. Come on, I'm like one assist away from level 10. Oh well, I'll do it on my own time. So, that means we have one more Citron left to showcase, and he's a precious one to me. I really don't want him to be too much hurt by this change, but he might be. We're gonna find out together in just a moment. Okay, so the final Citron I'll be showcasing the changes of is the Toxic Citron. Now, he just has one simple change, that the long range direct hit went from five to two. But the thing I'm so worried about that is because I feel like Citron, is another one, or, or Toxic Citron is another one where it's really dependent that he has some decent mid-range. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm underestimating how long of a range, close range is factored, because that's a good amount of damage right there. Um, because he's not about hitting that one big hit, he's about hitting a lot of small hits and really, you know, stacking on that toxic damage. You gotta keep moving, there we go. And maybe this will be fine. I mean, I think this is a very powerful character. I mean, obviously, I don't think he's overpowered exactly, but I think he's just a lot of fun to play, so I really want him to be okay. And so far, it seems like that's the case. So yeah, the changes have been pretty wild for the Citron, but I think overall it is a good thing, and I think it will positively affect the game. I think there are a lot of very powerful Citron players that maybe now it'll make things a tiny bit more balanced for everyone, and that's a good thing. And I can't wait to talk about all the positive changes for the Engineer, because there were a lot of them. This guy. Uh, might not notice I'm attacking him, and that's a good thing. Oh, definitely go for this guy. I don't know if that mech's gonna realize I'm over here, so if I can just get rid of his friend first, nice, okay. And hello, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle you. Just like that, did I get you? I got you. So now that we're super close to you, we wanna lay on this damage and have to reload. Oh gosh, that's sort of the big downside still to this Citron. Is that, <laughs> he, he has to reload, I totally forgot. Okay, so let's move this way. I don't see too much going on at the moment. I do see this guy we can take on because he's clearly not here. Oh, okay, now, he, now he's realized, he's realized, he's realized he's trying to back away. <laughs> okay, definitely try to stun you because you are gonna hurt me a lot. I might just have to back out of here, but if we can take you out, oh, the poison damage might do the job, but yeah, he just out close range me. I mean, I had a little low health, I think. It definitely wasn't at full. That's sort of a tough situation there. But let's move back this way. Ooh, I did see what looked like a soldier move his way this way. Yup, yup, yup. Go ahead and try to tackle you, and I missed. How embarrassing. There might be too many here to handle. Uh, this uh, could be a problem. Okay, this is fine, actually. Let me focus on the scientist first. My close range range, or my close range ability to shoot. My aiming is awful today. And I feel like that's not really helping me much. So I'm sorry for that. I mean, we're not too far behind on score but we're gonna start falling behind if I keep playing like this. Okay, so here is the imp if I could. Oh, you found me, really? That was a pretty good uh, anti-grab throw. We got him still. Okay, so there's all that done. I'm gonna pull up my shield. Yep, there are plenty of zombies contesting this area. Hover go, I'll go for you. And then focus on this painter, because he's definitely not paying attention. <laughs> Don't even think he was there, or playing, or anything. Who's attacking me now? Probably you, gotcha. I got a skedaddle, and this is what you save your speed up boost for. And then I can turn around and hit this guy. <laughs> okay, I hit a lot more than I was expecting. I might get taken out now, uh, but maybe if I play fast enough, because we still move quite quickly, just with the normal ball form, without it even being, you know, sped up or anything. So you don't quite seem to see me, so if I could get you, I'll get a reload, I should've thought about that. That was just me being bad. Okay, I got it. So we're doing pretty well right now. Once again, we're trying to get in, get out. And we did okay before I re didn't realize there's a scientist behind me. And that keeps happening to me today. It seems like no matter how aware I'm trying to be, there's always a scientist able to sneak up on me. And maybe it's part of power of numbers, they do have a much larger team. And there's more than one scientist working together almost always when we're in that situation. But at the same time, 
I think it's also sort of part of Citron's major weakness, and every character, like I said, has to have a weakness, you know, for the Imp, it's that he's very low health. For the Scientist, it's sort of that he's low health, but also, a lot of his characters aren't very long range to, like, usable, so that can be a problem. He has to very much so stay away from most combat situations because of how low his health is. Every character has that kind of weakness that they have to pay attention to as a player to be able to keep up. Okay, so I gotta be careful. I'm probably just gonna try to catch up to this goat, because I don't want him to stick around right now, because he'll help the rest of his teammates very well. Okay, so this guy doesn't quite see me, but he's also just running away. Oh, I got him! Guess he didn't have much health. Luckily, the toxic damage really helps out with uh, Toxic Citron, even if he is doing less primary weapon damage. You know, we can just still take away a lot of characters with that toxic, as long as we can just make sure it's still on them. Okay, there's two scientists here, and just by the time I can realize how many scientists are attacking me, it's too late. I can't go into ball form and roll away. It's craziness. And they won. So we did some rounds that we did really well. We got some rounds where we got our butts kicked, but overall, I think we had a good time showcasing the Citron's changes across all of these Citron characters. And with that being said, I would love to hear your thoughts on all of that, as I've said before, but there's the Toxic Citron. All right then, so like I said, that is a look at every single Citron change, and just to finish things off a little bit, you might know that the community challenge is going on right now, or at least it was at the time of recording this video, it might not be after, by the time this goes up, but it looks like the community hit a couple rewards. I might as well open these bad boys up and see what we get inside as a thank you to watching to the end of the video. I do have more solo ops stuff coming up soon. Next episode should be some solo ops fun. I am super excited to record that. But uh, for now, we'll just open these and see what ends up happening. Hopefully this zombie won't ruin my fun. I can teleport, yep, okay, good. But yeah, I think that overall, this is gonna change up Citron for the better and it'll make the game a little bit more interesting. I hope that they continue with this idea of changing characters, uh, making them more viable. And there we go, 25,000 coins. And for the blue community pack, we get, hopefully something good. Eh, some okay stuff. Oh, look at that! Birthday cake, legendary hat, I am so happy right now. I forgot about this one. So there's a new legendary hat showcase coming up at some point. We got the birthday cake, legendary hat, the retro brains rare hat, the uh, gold wobbly wheel, uh, self revive, gem prospector set, diamond bandana bound, and then the gem rectangulators. I am so happy. Okay, everything's working well for me now. But with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Citron so you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.